If you want to allow more than one user to access and use the Magic Info server, then you may need to set up some user accounts. This will allow you to control who is allowed to log in and what they're allowed to do. For example, a receptionist who can only upload and schedule content, but not create it. To add a new user, log in using the main admin account you created when installing the server. From here, click the user icon on the left hand side of the screen and select the add user button from the top of the page. This will open a new window where you can enter the details of the new user. The next section is organizational information. If you wanted to give access to say just a few of the screens, say reception or a canteen, you would first need to set up an organization to put the screens into and then give the user access to only that organization. For more information on that, watch the video Creating and Using Organizations. Likewise, dependent on the organization, you can also create user groups for access to specific content, which you would select here also. Finally, the role of the user would dictate what they were allowed to do and would be selected here, at which point you could select Save. User roles can be reviewed and defined from the User menu under the heading Role. Clicking on a role allows you to define the parameters of an existing role by selecting or deselecting the tick boxes for that role. Or you can create your own role by clicking on the Add button at the top of the page and picking the relevant options. Once a user is created, the user can then log in to the server with the username and password entered at the time of creation, giving them access to some, but not necessarily all of the functionality of the server. To add more users, simply repeat the process. And that's how you create a new user. If you'd like me to continue producing more of these videos, please subscribe using the button below and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks very much. Bye.